the Panthers make the move and signing Teddy Bridgewater to three years over sixty million dollars in, in in money. So, do you feel like that this was a beneficial move for the Panthers to move on from Cam Newton and this Teddy Bridgewater an upgrade from Cam Newton? Um. So. I don't think the well. I th- I think it, it is a better move for the Panthers. Um, but I do. I'm not trying to say this to the, discredit Cam Newton because I do believe that Cam Newton can ball. I feel like, I feel like he just his, his circumstances were just kind of he had the injury and everything. And there's a lot of hate on Cam Newton, guys. Like I know there's a lot of people that do not like this man for whatever reason. But I you know look, man, he took the Panthers to the Super Bowl. I mean, he he did that. So. And maybe maybe he might not be the same player after the injury. I have faith in him. I think he's I think he's pretty solid. Um, it's just I don't I don't necessarily think Teddy Bridgewater is an upgrade. I I've always looked at Teddy Bridgewater as a backup. Um, even last year, look at you look at Teddy Bridgewater. He only performed well because he had pretty good pieces around him. In my opinion, you have Alvin Kamara, who's top five running back in the league. You have. Michael Thomas, who you said earlier, who you think is like you know arguably one of the the best wide receivers in the league. So when you have those weapons on offense, yeah, I mean you're gonna do well. It doesn't matter really who you are. You're gonna you're gonna do pretty decent. And in my opinion, like you know, I don't I don't think Teddy Bridgewater is gonna do. Who who's on Carolina's offense? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, their their receivers are a uh, a little thin. They just lost Jarius Wright, which yeah. I mean he wasn't a, yeah. a big one, but uh, DJ Moore. Is a uh, is someone Curtis Samuel? They've talked about he has potential. He has some flashes here and there. Biggest one, obviously, Christian McCaffrey. He's the biggest guy. Yeah, you know, so that's going to help out a lot. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I mean, they got rid of Greg Olson and th- they got Seth DeValve. Right. The tide come up. Seth DeValve. I think. You know, I, I don't. I don't think Teddy Bridgewater is is the guy uh, that's going to go forward. I mean, I, I he was good in what Louisville played Louisville in college. He was actually in that, I think, in that draft class with Johnny Menzel and and he was and all of them, and he was pretty hot. But Blake Bortles, yeah, yeah. Um, as far as Cam is concerned, I don't know who's going to sign him, but I hope whoever signs him. I mean, I was going to say at this point, with the Chargers officially announcing that they're uh, not looking for a veteran to sign, mm-hmm. the the Bears followed that move up by Nick. trading for Nick Foles, uh, which we're going to talk about in just a sec. At that point, it's just New England. That's the only opportunity that's open, at least for this year coming up. Uh, do you see that happening? I don't see it. I don't. I don't think. Cam, I don't think Cam's going to the Patriots. I, I. I think it would be a good move for him in terms of learning from Bill, but I don't think that that's the best move for for him in the long term. Because again, Bill's gonna try to squeeze you out like with the least amount of talent on offense as possible. I feel like the Patriots are gonna roll with Jarrett Stidham. I think they're gonna they're gonna roll with him, or they might bring back uh, Jacob Brisket, Jacoby Brissett. They, they might, they might, they might bring him back. Um, they might. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, but I, I don't. I don't see Cam. I don't see Cam going there. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Because um, again, we don't know what's going on with the Redskins, and we don't know what's going on with Alex Smith and his injury and everything like that. We we just don't know. They do have um they do have Dwayne Haskins, so they probably want to go forward with everything. But I just feel like, you know, uh, Cam Cam Newton needs to go to a place with with some weapons around him. That's just kind of how I feel. 